like Larry's Country Diner, how did it even grow to become a thing? Like the thing that it is. What's up guys, how you doing out there? I'm Dom, this is Rockin' the Country. We do mostly traditional country here. So those of you who are new, welcome. And those who've been around a while, thank you. And, um, but I am doing Rhonda Vincent's rendition of When the Grass Grows Over Me. And I'm doing George Jones's rendition of that song tomorrow. But while I was looking for a rendition to grab of George's, I saw this one and I'm like, Rhonda Vincent is so good. I've done a song or two of hers. But anyway, the George Jones rendition was originally or was requested by Sandy uh, Jantanen. Shout out to you for Rhonda's rendition, even though you requested George's. And you'll get another shout out tomorrow, uh, assuming neither is blocked. So here we go. Ah, uh, the sheriff. Rest in peace, brother. When you left, I thought that I would soon be over you. Even told myself that I find somebody. pause for a second what some of you guys don't realize is that when i'm listening to these songs sometimes they hit me hard and i'm like whoa take a break but i had a couple of thoughts one is at larry's country diner when they perform even though it's in this tiny little venue every artist i've ever seen perform in here gene watson mo Pin, it doesn't matter they all put their heart and soul into what they're singing. They seem to enjoy it. They embody it. It isn't like, oh, look at this tiny little place. And of course, it's a storied place. And this is what I wanted to ask you guys. It's the first time it's popped into my head. But like Larry's Country Diner, how did it even grow to become a thing? Like the thing that it is. And did they just build this separate spot of the diner after it took off as a place for artists to gather and occasionally play? Because... This looks like a special place, not part of the diner. I don't know, maybe you guys can speak to that. Here we go. has to be hard to play. Through and through, 
expect to hear me say that I still love you, dear. Or I'll be over you when the grass grows up. You guys tell me what was wrong with that song. I unbelievable. Some people are made <laughs> you however you want to word it, but Rhonda Vincent, she embodies lyricism, professionalism, the vocal qualities. I don't know voice. I mean, I know a good friend of mine, Sophia Kazarian, and she's a world-class vocalist. And when I'll talk with her or just hear her doing a few things, I, I, it's it, the voice, how you use that as an instrument is almost beyond me, but there's so many different ways of expressing it. And I just watch like the facial expressions Rhonda makes when she's singing and you know the human component to embodying a song, like the eyes, like but that song, man, I mean, I'm doing George's Tomorrow, George Jones's rendition of it tomorrow, and he may have been the first one to do it. I don't do a bunch of research for all these songs. I just like to enjoy the songs as songs without a whole bunch of other information in it. But I, I'm going to rate this song, and there, to me, was not a flaw. You know, you had the sheriff holding down the fort over there. Rhonda's voice, of course. Mike Johnson on steel. I don't know who the backing vocalist was. I couldn't tell if he had an instrument. I didn't look. I think he might have actually been on bass. Yeah, I mean, that's a 10. That is a country song. That is a song song. That is, I mean, who hasn't felt that? And I was thinking, like, it doesn't matter if you're the one who got left or you're the one who leaves the other one. Maybe your heart's just not in it any longer. Let's just say uh, drugs and abuse are all out of the question, but you just fell, fell out of love, however that happens. You still don't get over it fully. You just don't. I mean, that part but through memory, as the song lyrics say, the memory is always there. I've studied a bit about memory, enough to make me dangerous in, in things that I say, but one of the things that may differentiate animals from most animals from humans is what's called episodic memory like we recall episodes like if i ask you what was your wedding day like or what was your high school graduation like you know an episode you sort of replay a movie in your head or, or something and that differs from the type of memory and i forget what you call it it might be semantic memory but if i say all right what's seven times five and in your and and that's a different type of memory where you'll see like the numbers in your head perhaps from doing it back in grade school or middle school whenever we did times tables multiplication tables and you could see the number and the equal sign and that's a different like it's rote memory and something about human beings is that we don't get over that kind of stuff i don't know if in the animal kingdom when lions just move on and go somewhere else or or ostriches or whatever the animals are if they feel it uh, the way we do. I don't know, but you don't get over it. I mean, that's just the price we pay for being human. That's a 10, people. Um, Sandy Gentonen, I'm doing George Jones's rendition tomorrow. Leave your comments. This goes in the playlist of songs that I've given a 10 to. And even though it's a rendition or a cover, whoo, that's a 10. Doesn't matter. She took it and made it her own. All right, guys. Shout out to some special people out there. The M's Wilders as well. Anytime you wear this shirt, of course, I think of you guys. And that's it. Have a great day, guys. See you on another video. Keep rocking the country.